this is your love read coming in September 2022. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides, for your wisdom, your guidance, your protection, your inspirations, and above all, your presence with us. Thank you so much. So, Leo, I hope everybody enjoyed this new moon, new beginnings. I wanted to go ahead and do a love read. I did abundance readings were kind of in the new beginnings readings that I posted for you and uh i felt really called to pull out and do some love readings for our signs here thank you spirit what do we have for leos to start off their love reading what do they need to know spirit thank you spirit first card i have out is the initiate acknowledge about excuse me acknowledge what you do not know and learn with a beginner's mind so you can become accepted as an authority one day. So you're being called to keep studying and learning here, Leo. You're in a process of growth. We all are. Okay, so you're being encouraged to keep going on that path. We've got the survivor card, number 35. Things might not work out as planned, at least in the short term. Remember all you have endured and how resilient you have proven to be. Very important to remember where we came from. That helps us to understand our value. Life experience is a huge value in so many ways. I just did uh, another reading earlier and I and uh, Spirit brought to mind the fact that you know, it's, it's not about working harder. It's about working smarter. And we don't know how to do that until we have life experience, right? Wow. Tons of cars popping out here. Hold on. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull the top two. I was only going to pull one more, but I'll pull these top two here because they kind of flew in different directions. Number 19, the Yogini. We are all one, each an inseparable part of the unseen infinite energies that surround, okay, sustain and empower us and all there is. So you're being called to remember we are all one, right? You've got the initiate, keep learning. You've got the survivor. This reminds us not to compare ourselves to other people, okay, right? We are all one. It's about respecting your journey, other people's journeys. We've got the shadow number three for the last card of these. And then I'm going to pull Tarot for you. Making a friend and ally of your shadow side is necessary for becoming your authentic self. A key element of true success. Okay. Knowing your limitations. Knowing your body listening to your body what is your body telling you right what is your brain telling you how do we retrain that brain so anyway let's get into your love read here leo thank you spirit first one out here we have the queen of rods what else can you give us for leo please sun moon rising and venus this is the love read coming into all these new beginnings oh my goodness did you see that that's freaking amazing. All right. Okay, we've got the emperor. Oh my gosh. And we've got the king of cups here. Okay, so Leo, if you are concerned here about your love life, um, don't be. Okay, right? We also have a knight of swords that popped up. Okay, so let's take a look at this. We've got the queen of queen of rods here which kind of translates into the queen of wands okay um notice there's a kitty cat here i don't know if you can see it so i'll hold it up for you she's got a sunflower she's got the sun beaming around her okay she's got a cat curled up on her she's very content she's she is the nurturer of all things you know like plants and you know um daily life aspects okay we've got the emperor here who is kind of like a fatherly authority here okay but that energy is also one of mastery okay spiritual mastery 
Notice, uh, you know, the crystal ball there in his hand. Okay. This is about mastering your gifts here. We've got the King of Cups. Who is, you know, it's like a cup of love, right? Divine, stable, okay? Able to give and receive love without any kind of weirdness, right? In a very equitable way, with respect. And then we've got the Knight of Swords here. Okay, it's kind of like a hero card. They come rushing in. It, again, it reminds me of Sir Lancelot, you know, in the Arthurian Tales, where, you know, he's a hero. He was like the best fighter, warrior of the round table, but he was also extremely reckless, especially in love, right? Like it, he picked Guinevere, love at first sight, okay? And it probably wasn't the best match for him, right? <laughs> okay, so kind of an immature aspect there. Let's see what else we've got for you here. Yeah. All right. So what I'm getting here, okay, I have the Seven of Swords. Oh, what happened to it? Um, it was it was the Seven of Rods also. And I'm sorry, I must have stuck it back in the deck here. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was the Nine of Rods, the Seven of Swords, okay? You've got Death and Rebirth here. You've got the Hermit. Okay, and then you've got your Queen of Pentacles coming out. So, this is the card that is like darkest before the dawn here. You know, it's right before harvest. Everybody's worn out because they've been tending the fields, doing all this work. Okay, keeping the pests away. Um, you know, somebody's wounded. Okay, it's, it's a card of like almost exhaustion. But just know it's like the light before the dawn here or the dark before the, the dawn. Okay, because the next card up is the 10 and that is the card of harvest. Okay, so I feel like this is kind of where you folks are at right now. You've got the seven of swords. I think you've been you're still healing from some battles. I, um, you know, possibly in relationships or, you know, within yourself, the relationship with yourself, perhaps. Okay, death and rebirth is called here on these energies. Okay, in order to move into this abundance here, a death and rebirth card. Okay, the transformation, you need to process whatever is going on here with you, you need to take time to rest to get ready for the harvest. Okay, you need to work on why you're still feeling kind of guarded here. All right. Um, go into hermit mode, it's calling you to kind of like get away from everything, unplug, take some time for yourself, be still, tune in, figure out what you want, you know, organize your gifts and your skills, right? Come back with some rest and some confidence. Notice he's the light bearer, okay? He's got the wisdom. He just needs to take the time to tune into it sometimes. And then you're banging out here with the queen of pentacles, Okay, so you've got the Queen of Wands, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, both in one read, you've got the Emperor and the King of Cups. So the Divine Masculine and Feminine matches here are just off the charts. Okay, very stable here. That Emperor could also be, um, you know, somewhat of a fatherly figure to you. And that might be calling in that, that King of Cups, like you might meet that person through um, an older divine masculine energy that's involved in your life or somebody that's, you know, at a higher spiritual level or something like that. Just know that that might be the way that that's coming in for you. Okay. You are the star Leo. Okay. We've got the hermit card again. You need to rest and take care of yourself. Okay. And then we've got the queen of cups coming in. Okay, after you realize who you are, remember who you are, take some time out for yourself, gather your gifts, reclaim your power, reclaim, organize that wisdom, right? It takes time to absorb things sometimes. And that's what I feel like is going on. You've got these energies right now. You need to take some time out and absorb things, reclaim your power. And then you're coming into this Queen of Cups energy, or this Queen might be coming into you, this Divine Feminine energy um, 
where she is completely uh, comfortable, is the word I'm searching for, with giving and receiving love. Okay? Like, there's no anxiety about it. Because she's comfortable in herself. Okay? She's confident. She's comfortable in herself. Okay? In her authentic self, no matter what that looks like. Okay? We've also got Eight of Pentacles here. You could be meeting whoever is coming in for you. Okay? Or the growth of the relationship could surround work. Or that relationship could be bringing in, you know, spiritual and material wealth is what I'm hearing. There's that Knight of Swords again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I feel like that person's going to be rushing in. You're getting some kind of message. It's going to make you kind of, you know, like freeze up almost. Okay. Okay. I think that's why the hermit came out twice. Whenever this is coming in here, where was it? Underneath here. Oh, maybe, yeah, here he is. Okay. I think that that's going to, it's almost going to be like a triggering effect. Okay. And it's going to be time to take the blindfold off. This could be happening before the full moon for you. Just so you know, this could be somebody from your past. It could just be something that reminds you of something you know, that kind of triggers you. So be ready for that. Okay. You've got the hermit twice here. Hermit mode, hermit mode, right? Death and rebirth. You know the process here. You're the star. And this is all going to transmute into this abundance here for you. Because you are the magician. This is amazing, Leo. Okay. Yep. Got the devil card again. All right, this is happening in the love readings for a lot of people, okay? The reminder is growth, okay? This is a mindset. This is not like a specific human being, okay? It's a representation of energy here, being trapped, okay? It's a seducer, all right? It's something that's not good for you, some energy that is not good for you. Are you going to keep letting that in your life? Okay, or are you going to claim your power back here as the magician? And the, the way to do this, okay, is the growth. Focus on, focus on growth and take some time out for yourself here. All right, Leo, I'm going to go ahead and pull an oracle card for you. I hope this has been helpful. Take good care of yourself. Okay, keep going. We've got contentment. You can learn to rest in what you already have and already are. Suddenly, you remember, I'm right here, oh, resting in the divine. This also, I'm being called to say divine timing here for somebody. Somebody, you need to wait on divine timing. Okay, okay. Balance out in the moment, practice self-regulation, and wait on divine timing. I'm sorry, I just had to put that out there. Challenges. Unbearable situations throw you directly into the divine's arms if you are open. Please take over divine and guide the right actions. Please take this burden and show me your will. So for those of you facing these challenges right now, Okay, do what you can and then give it over to the divine and then start focusing on the growth. It's kind of like, you know, glass empty, glass half empty, glass half full. Okay, what are you focusing on? All right, Leo. Um, this is amazing. I'm going to pull these cards off now so that you can remember here where we started with this reading. And just how much abundance you have coming in for you. Okay? Look at these matches you've got. Again, you are the star. Okay? You've got the Queen of Rods. You've got the Emperor. You've got the King of Cups. Okay? You've got the Queen of Pentacles. Right? 
Queen of Cups, King of Cups. <laughs> okay? You're going to be fantastically fine here. All right? You've got so much abundance coming in. You will, you will definitely have your choice in love here. If that's something that you want. Okay? And if your relationship, if you're in a relationship right now, okay, and you're going through these battles, now you know kind of what you're called to do. You're called to step out here, right, and take care of yourself and focus on the growth. And you can mention that to your partner as well if your partner is struggling. It's about focusing on the growth. The initiate, keep learning. The survivor, recognize your strengths. Notice that we are all young, the yogini, one, excuse me, not young, one. And the shadow, embracing those shadow aspects, knowing that we're all one, that everything should work together for the benefit of all of us, right? And that works in relationships as well. But you need to make sure that you're in a, in a relationship that's giving back to you also. If you need help, again, you know, find somebody, uh, an elderly, elder person to speak to if you, if you need that, okay, to help you process this information. So, Leo, I hope this has been helpful. Take good care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Enjoy this beautiful love scene that's coming into your life. And be kind out there.